uh, I'm Russ Rubman, president of Gittler Guitars. Uh, Gittler Guitars were started in 1978 by Alan Gittler, and uh, it was uh, the idea of creating a minimalist guitar by stripping away many of the conventions that we've come to accept as guitarists. Uh, for one, as you can see, the body and the neck no longer exists. It's got a very minimalist structure, but you'll find that by playing the guitar, you don't really need anything but muscle memory to make the shape of chords and scales that you're used to making. It's really a, a unique tool for guitarists. It has 31 frets, over four octaves of play. It has six pickups, one for each string, that are all magnetically isolated from one another. It has a MIDI output, as you can see, and you've probably just heard. Its tracking, because of the isolation of the pickups, is absolutely perfect. It is probably the best MIDI tracking guitar on the market today. We're very proud of it. It's made of solid titanium, and it's all made in America. That's the Gittler guitar. It's got quite a bit of history behind it. Perhaps you can go to a little bit of the, the, sure. the back story. Well, for history, we can start by going to this man here. This is Yonatan Barashi. He's the son of the original designer. This is an instrument that in 1978, in the late 70s, uh, came to prominence. It was uh, featured in the Museum of Modern Art and still is to this day. And uh, it was picked up by the police and played in their synchronicity video. And uh, ever since then, it's had sort of a, a legendary status on the market. It's been in uh, you know, guitar shows as a collector's piece. There were only 60 made at the time. But now here, this year, we have a revival of the guitar. It started in 2013, and now it's continuing, and we're starting to ship guitars. We're very proud of the instrument, and uh, it's back on the market after 25 years of absence. So, what prompted it to go back on the market? Uh, I am a titanium machinist and a metallurgist, and uh, I played one of the guitars, one of the original 60, for years. And I loved it so much, I thought to myself, uh, why is this not available? You know, it's a great idea. It plays wonderfully. It's a virtual Swiss Army knife of guitars, you know, only weighing it only three pounds. And, and uh, so I started machining them out of titanium and realized that uh, the advantages of titanium had so many, you know. Uh, it's closely packed grain structure gives it a great sonic property. And now, with the advent of the longer scale and the 31 frets and uh, the fret lighting system as you can see over here to the right. You can choose your color and it'll light up on stage. We also offer a, a range of plastic guards and we call this the Gittler guard. It's a cast urethane guard that clips onto the back of the guitar so that you can uh, have a more normal feel to the guitar. Some guitarists may find a, a little bit of a challenge playing without the, the neck guard, um, but we find that most, if not all, of the guitarists we've sold the guitars to really likes it in its virgin form, in its uh, nude form, as we'll call it. I noticed your demonstrator is using the, the, uh, the guard. Yeah, as you can see the guard here, all it does is clip to the back of the instrument and uh, offers a more uh, traditional guitar feel. We offer it in several shapes, a C shape, a D shape, uh, and we're making um, a couple of different shapes for this coming year so that the guitarist can kind of choose the feel he likes for his guitar. And then, you know, it just clips right onto the back, like this. Clips right on, and then, you know, you've got a, a regular guitar. You know, so a more traditional feel. The range of different profiles. You, it doesn't come with a range. You can purchase a, a different profile as you like. So you may prefer a, a slim neck speed profile, or maybe you like a, a heavier 59 Les Paul kind of feel, so you want a chunkier neck. Um, we offer a few different choices, basically. Uh, talking about purchase, how much is the purchase price? You've got two versions here. Uh, the purchase price in US dollars is $5,000 for the guitar, and that's in its initial classic, classic form in, in polished titanium. And then we offer this guitar. This is uh, what uh, the same basically as you just saw, except it has what's called a tie-dyed type 4 finish. 
which is a weapons grade finish that's used in the Gulf at the moment in, uh, in weaponry systems. It has an extremely high rock wall hardness, which means it's damage and impact resistant, and it has also a Teflon impregnation of the base coat, so it's extremely smooth. This guitar will last forever. Never needs fret redressing, never needs fret replacement. It's virtually indestructible. Also known as the first guitar that can play underwater, though I don't know why you'd want to. And I guess it's about the premium price on the regular one. That's another thousand dollars, yeah, for the premium. It also, this we call the Armed Forces Special Edition, and it comes with green lighting, and it comes with a camouflage case. Uh, we find that the learning curve is there, but it's relatively small. I would say after about 15 or 20 minutes, most guitarists will get a comfort level with the guitar. And it's like I say to people, it's like standing on the ledge of a building. If you, uh, as long as you walk along the ledge and walk normally, it's like walking on a street. But if you look down, suddenly you lose your confidence and uh, you have trouble. If you just use your traditional muscle memory and chord and play scales the way that you're normally used to playing, and you have a decent form, uh, there will be no difference between this and your favorite Stratocaster or Gretsch or Les Paul. It has a very traditional feel and play. Yeah, that snow whammy bar on the guitar, it's never going to have one because it's a body instrument. It's really meant, the whole guitar is meant to be a whammy bar. If you think about it, uh, titanium has a tremendous amount of memory built into it. So if you're into bending the guitar, you can really put your wrist right here. And as you're playing, you can lean forward or pull backwards. And you'll get the same effect as a whammy bar. But because titanium has so much memory, it'll snap right back into its original form and you'll lose no tuning. So if people want to find out more, where do they go? Uh, our website's at www.gidlerinstruments.com. That's where you can find us. We sell direct at the moment, but we're picking up distribution around the United States and all around the world right now.